What's happening, Vape fam? This is Joe of All Vapes once again, bringing it to you in typical PNW style. What, what's going on here? Looks like I got a little beard vape code that we're going to be talking about today, as if uh, the shirt and the hat didn't give it away. If any of you guys out there have never tried beard vape code, then you're in for a treat. This is a really, really solid lineup that they've got. Um, five flavors that they sent me. They make six, I believe. You go on to uh, uh, LFNT Man is the website that they uh, sell all their wares at. Now, Beard has also done a collaboration with the Craft Vapory, and they've come out with a brand called The Essentials. Now, you can see that's their entire lineup. Their website is lfntman.com, and on that, you're going to be able to buy anything from Porthouse Vape, Super Strudel Beard Vape Co., of course, Punch E-Liquid, and, of course, The Essentials. Now, I mentioned this because they sent me the entire uh, lineup, basically everything they have on the website. I'm going to be reviewing that a little bit later on in time as we kind of move along. I wanted to start with Beard because Beard was the main company and uh, really, really good stuff, really tasty flavors. And this is going to be a fun review. So we're going to start out uh, pretty simple here. First of all, they sent me some 15 milliliter bad boys. And um, this is uh, pretty much the brunt of most of the label, except for this one here, which is in uh, you know white on black instead of the black on white. But it's a cloth label, which I think is pretty darn cool. Um, typical, all the mumbo jumbo on the back as far as the legalese and, and all that good stuff. Three milligrams, once again. Now, um, the one cool thing about these is that the flavors are not named traditionally. Like, you know, it's not going to be strawberry cheesecake or whatever, da da da. Uh, they all come in numbers. As you see, this one is number 5, and then we've got number 32, 51, 64, and number 71 was the white on black one. So I'll do the flavor descriptions for you here, and uh, we'll, we'll break these down one by one. So the number 5 is a New York-style cheesecake with strawberries on top. It's a 60-40 VG to PG. The thing I loved about the number 5, the strawberry cheesecake, was the cream on the cheesecake was the very first thing that hit your tongue. On a first inhale, really solid, uh, creamy inhale. It was very, very delightful, very light and airy. Strawberry came through on the back end, very, very light and just pretty basic in its construction. But a good quality vape. Um, you know, they use the best strawberry extract as far as just temperature of the strawberry, I guess, if you will. The one thing that I want to taste on a creamy dessert type of vape is the accentuation of the strongest flavor. So in my opinion, the cheesecake portion is really going to be the strongest taste. You've got, you know, a little cream cheese in there. Of course, you got a little bit of dairy and, um, you know, the vanilla that really came through. But the creaminess, that solid, really amazing creaminess really came through. That's the first thing that you taste. And then the strawberry was pretty solid on the exhale, a little bit on the inhale as well. So a little bit of a binary vape, probably one of the best strawberry cheesecake flavors that I've tasted. It's definitely up there. So number five, decent stuff. The next one is number 32, and this is a cinnamon funnel cake. This one was absolutely out of sight. This one was amazing, man. So the one thing I'm going to say about this flavor is that they use a very good quality cinnamon. And I've said this before, a lot of cinnamon extracts for e-juice can taste way, way off. I mean, they just don't even taste like cinnamon at all. They, you know, like a dishwashing detergent, basically. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the, you know, just the overall quality of the extract that they use or certain amounts or, you know, they don't steep it enough. Who knows? But beer definitely got it down on this one. It was cakey on the inhale. And the, the cinnamon is more of just, um, it, it's really an even blend of a cinnamon sugar. So it's really, really sweet. Very, very light on the buttery flavor. I mean, we've all been to the carnival and see that giant little, um, you know, that little metal uh, pouring device that, they, you know, they, they twist around the, uh, the batter ingredients and stuff like that in this cute little circle. And then they flip it and then we're just salivating, waiting for them to dump all that cinnamon sugar on top, you know. Um, it, it, it's pretty darn reminiscent of that, save the seven bucks that you have to pay for the actual thing. But let me tell you something, with this, you can just keep on vaping it. So since this is pretty much my favorite, I dripped it, I sub-ohmed it, but dripping it is really a delight. So I'm going to uh, bust out a little bit of that on my dripper here. Got my 13 Heavens 9 Hells RDA. And we're going to give that a little whirl. 
Oh, so, so darn good. It's extremely mellow on the cakiness, but sweet enough. Between the cinnamon and the sugar, it comes out really, really solid. So really good blend, solid mixology. The uh, I, I think the cinnamon sugar comes a little bit stronger on the back end, especially on the exhale. Um, and not overpowering. Definitely, uh, it, it's not one of those things that is just going to linger on your tongue after a while and just stick around way too long. Some uh, some e juices that I've tasted are just like uninvited guests. You know, they come on strong and they uh, they leave way too late. You know what I mean? But um, this one was was very very tasty. If they made the 32s in 100 milliliter bottles. I'd be a happy man. So that was the uh, delicious cinnamon funnel cake, and that was in a 6040 as well. All these have different uh, VG to PG, save the uh, number 5 and the number 32 are the same, and the 64 and the 71. So let's go on to the 51, and this is custard with a dash of custard. Now, if, if any of you guys have uh, you know tasted a lot of custard vapes, Here's the problem with a lot of custard vapes out on the market. There are so many of them, and if you find one that is even close within a smidge to actual custard, I mean, custard is very thick, very dense, very rich, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of cream, obviously, but it's the egg yolk that really makes a good custard. You're going to taste it. That's what makes it taste not quite like a cream vape, not quite, uh, quite like a, a vanilla vape in itself, something totally different. It's very rich and thick and dense. So this one, I think they did a fairly decent job. Now, when I say fairly decent, don't get me wrong. I'm not uh, you know, trying to pound on them or anything like that. We're going to drip a little bit of this just so we can get a little bit of flavor of that going on there too. But basically what I mean is I, I think the custard flavor in the creaminess area could have been just a little bit stronger. But not by much. Not by much at all. It is very, very sweet. It's very sugary. Um, you know, it, it's got a nice balance. And the one thing that I can say is that the sugar does not outweigh the cream. The cream is definitely evident. And it's not too, too rich and too, too thick that it just kind of throws the balance off. This one's not going to stick with you like, the, you know, like, like I said with the other ones. Um, you know, the aftertaste of the funnel cake beautiful it sticks around for as long as it needs to pretty much the same thing with this and i think a lot of that has to do with the quality of the extract so the number 51 the custard with a dash of custard thick and rich honestly the more i vape it the more i like it so it's just kind of one of those things um it, it's not as dense as it, it came across you know with the uh, the layer upon layer of custard but it is a very very good custard blend Obviously, they did a little bit of their homework into this, which I give a lot of props for. A lot of companies don't bother to take the time to come out with the actual flavor of something that they're touting in an EJU. So, really good, solid quality on this one. The number 51, Custard with a Dash of Custard. And that one was an 8515 blend. So, um, perfect for a dripper. That's a dripper's dream right there. And I think that really enhanced the overall flavor of the 51. So the next one is a way outside the box from the previous three. This one is number 64. That's a raspberry hibiscus mixture. Now there's, uh, you know, there, there's not very many hibiscus vapes out on the market. Small handful from what I have personally seen. Of course, there's probably a ton more that I haven't. But the one thing that I like about a lot of the hibiscus vapes is that typically they pair it with things that are either really sweet, uh, kind of tart, or like a lot of teas. And uh, you can blend hibiscus with a lot of those traditional fruit vapes. It always comes out being something extremely light and airy and, I mean, just screaming refreshing just everywhere. It's really, really, really good. It's very potent. The raspberry is the very first thing that you taste. Vaping this stuff was a great experience. Right now in the Pacific Northwest, it's reaching temperatures anywhere between about 85 to 87 degrees, which is not like us, especially in the summertime. It's even raining in the summertime here. So having something very light and airy and refreshing like that, very, very uh, tasty, especially middle of the day. You start your day off with something just really light on your palate. You want to hit the heavier stuff when it kind of cools down. That's cool, but it was a great blend. Like I said, the raspberry hit you first. 
pretty true to profile on the raspberry, tart enough but sweet enough that it just totally doesn't kill your taste buds. And the hibiscus is a very unique flavor. So it has sort of a, sort of a melony flavor to it while, you know, being, it's almost kind of like, um, kind of like a prickly pear, if any of you guys have ever tried prickly pear. It's very unique in itself. A little bit of an exotic flavor, but super, super sweet. Pairs really good, actually, if you get a nice glass of cold iced tea with the raspberry hibiscus, the number 64 is going to be perfect for you. That's a 70-30 blend, too. So, so decent clouds on all of these. As far as flavor retention is concerned, obviously, you have enough of a PG ratio to keep the flavor really up there. So we're going to go to the next one here, and that one is number 71, the white on black bottle. And this one is sweet and sour sugar peach. This one was really, really outside of the box for me. Great, great flavor. That's what I deal with. <laughs> Last but not least is the number 71, and this is the Sweet and Sour Sugar Peach. So here's where they nailed it on this one. Typically when you get a nice ripe peach, you bite into it. The skin itself kind of has a little bit of a sour, kind of a tart taste to it. In other words, it didn't taste like they put anything artificial into it to, to give it that sour flavor, kind of like the sour straws you get as a kid. Really, really solid flavor on this one. So the peach came through uh, very ripe, very refreshing, and very sweet and tasty. The sour was so mellow, it was present, so it gave it something kind of a little bit candy-esque. Teensy agrees as well with a, <laughs> with a 70 30 blend. I think this came out really, really nice. <laughs> and the cloud production was very, very solid. I I ignore everything in the background right now. I'm, I'm totally winging this. Um, anyways, the number 71, really good flavor. Another one of those refreshing vapes, perfect for a summer's day. Nice palate cleanser, just something just to kind of shake it up. So the last two flavors were really separate from the first three. Typically, they're focusing a little bit more on a lot of the dessert flavors, the creaminess, and, and just the, um, the combination of those uh, working together with a lot of the lighter vapes, I think, gives it a nice contrast. Switch it up. Hey, mix them all up in a, in, in a bottle and see what you get. You know what I mean? It's all going to be quality, especially coming from Beard Vape Co. So if you guys don't believe me, hey, what can I say? You have to believe me or you don't, but here's what I suggest. You definitely go on to Beard Vape Co. on Instagram. Give these guys a follow. Check out their flavors. And uh, the one thing that I will suggest is if you want to pick some of this up, go on to lfntman.com and uh, pick up all the line that they have uh, on, you know, the Poor House, the Super Strudel, Beard Vape Co., Punch, E-Liquids, and Essentials. Now, you're going to see all this. It's not like I'm killing the reviews as soon as you go onto their website, but I have tested about half of, you know, the way through their entire lineup. Like I said, I'm going to be doing that a little bit more into the future, but for now, definitely give Beard uh, Vape Co. a shout out. And I just want to say, Beard, thank you very much for sending uh, all of your awesome line to moi, yours truly. I'm definitely looking forward to the rest of what you got on elephantman.com. And uh, that's going to be some solid reviews. So if you guys dig this review as mismatched as it was, Please stay tuned because I've got six other cats that you haven't seen yet either. Uh, check me out on uh, Instagram at Joe Vol Vapes and spread the word here, Joe Vol Vapes on YouTube. Got my 10,000 follower giveaway coming up. That's going to be the end of this month, which is June 2016. Might turn into an 11,000 follower giveaway by the end of June, but hey, I've got a lot of stuff to give away. It's going to be awesome. So I want to thank everybody out there for supporting me. I really appreciate it. This is Joe Vol Vapes, your eye in the vaping sky. Wishing you a great day and please keep it cloudy.